Mendelssohn, one of his Song Without Words, Opus 19, number four. That's right. One of the pieces I've been teaching this morning, so hello there, by the way. Um, and I just had a lovely time with this piece, and I just thought I'd share with you, because I had some insights in this teaching about really the importance of getting just the right words. I was with an adult student and it's great with adults because you can get, really dig down and get into the nitty gritty. The bit we were particularly working on was this bit, bar 13 going into 14, if you want to go and find it. <laughs> This student I work with tends to pull fingers in um, and and it can end up looking a bit knotty and tense and things. And there was a real problem coming from here, there, to there. Just that simple right hand movement there. And first thing that was happening was we were having a bit of a splodge when he got to that chord. And what I noticed, and this was online, was this second finger was having a little expedition all out by itself. It was making its own move. And of course, as soon as you do that, if you try that, oh goodness me, that sets up some tensions here. So the first thing we had to do was work out how to uh, just move the whole hand, the whole arm as a unit, and then to land ourselves down there really calmly and without tension. So we spent quite a bit of time just working out how to tip up from there. Fortunately, we'd done some work on that slightly earlier in the lesson. So that happened very nicely. And we got the hand working as a unit. Okay, we never send fingers out by themselves in this particular case. And now for the next bit, he was tending to land with a hand like that, really quite rigid and fingers pulled in. And the words I came, I found, were, I mean, it's nothing extraordinary. I just said, what about long fingers, long fingers? And the moment I said that, oh, yeah, 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 I know what you're doing. The other little um, thing that I did for him was I, um, I drew a smiley face on the end of one of my fingers. And I said, OK, well, actually, that's where you need to that's the area that you need to play on because he was sort of still playing on this little bit. So I wanted him to play on this area. And, um, oh, yeah, OK, I've got that, Sally. And then he just did it. And from then onwards, it didn't, it didn't all go quite just perfectly after that. But he knew, he understood so much better because I'd said the word long fingers and he had to keep reminding himself. But my little smiley finger... My little smiley face on the end of his, on the end of my finger, triggered something really quite extraordinary. So, the point of this is finding the right words and using the right kind of metaphor, the right kind of pictures, images can really unlock our students. And it's one of the wonderful things I I love about being a piano teacher because we're on this endless quest because every student has something different that we have to unlock. However, what I have done is I've written it down. I've got this here in four score. I don't know whether you can see. There we go. I have written it down here so that I can remember for next time. There we go. Long fingers. So I don't have to start again in my brain. Hope that's been helpful. So you haven't seen my face. You've just seen lots of my hands. See you all soon. Happy teaching.